Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson from KBandsTraining.com, and today we're going to be focusing on improving core strength for hitters or even pitchers, developing that velocity from the rotational movements that we're going to be working with. With the KB Power Band's resisted partner rotations, we're going to be able to use a partner style drill in a large group setting or small group based setting to build this core strength. With four levels of resistance, you're gonna be able to challenge yourself with as much resistance as you can handle maintaining proper form, or we can drop down for youth athletes so that we have the proper amount of resistance for each level. Or you can drop the resistance and get something a little bit more comfortable for our youth athletes to maintain proper form. You're gonna grab your KB power bands that come with two handles. You're gonna pull those out and find the right amount of resistance that you're gonna need. You can mix and match or just simply use one resistance band, whatever you need. Now you're gonna slide out from your partner, getting in a nice athletic stance, not too squatty. Remember, we wanna be in a nice upright position for great rotational movement. If we're hunched over, slouched, or even sliding to one side or the other, we're not gonna be in that optimal rotation zone. So we wanna be in a nice upright position balanced with our feet just outside of our armpits in a nice athletic stance. Now we're gonna drive our hands forward but squeeze our shoulder blades together. It's important that we don't really reach out so far as to slouch our shoulders, but almost pinch your shoulder blades at the bottom and focus on extending your arms while in this nice position. Now that we've got our proper form, we're gonna start working into the drill. As you move into your active set now, you're gonna continue maintaining equal and opposite resistance, rotating at the same time, keeping that stability and strength in our hips and core. You're gonna feel a great burn throughout your obliques as well as your hips, trying to keep your body stable throughout the resistance. We can complete this drill in a flat-footed position or take a slight rotation with the foot, but the key is that we make sure that we don't let the band lay across our chest and our shoulder. We wanna keep that resistance straight across into the other anchor as throughout the entire drill. Complete about three to four sets of this and then we're gonna move into the seated position. We're gonna take the hips out of the equation and keep it all in our core trying to maintain that stable position and nice proper arm positioning. Again here the key is to think about the scap, bring it together and keep your arms extended with a nice chest position. This is a great sequence to throw in about three to four resisted sets of each at the end of your practice. To grab your set of KB power bands, head to kbandstraining.com. They've got great snap clip resistance ends that's gonna allow you to clip to a fence, partner's handles, and be very mobile with your training. 